this is a staggering number. According to the FBI, more than 2,000 kids are sold for sex each year here in our state. And now a local nonprofit is taking a unique approach to combat sex trafficking. We found a lot of the trafficking transactions happen in hotels and motels. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski shows us how volunteers are going to the source to raise awareness. It happens everywhere. With each step. It happens in our cities. It happens in the suburbs. Door knock or flyer they hand out. We go all over the city. These volunteers are on a mission. Specifically um, in Denver, we're focused on children. Okay. To educate hotel and motel owners about sex trafficking. A lot of these transactions happen in hotels and motels. We would like to reach out to those business owners because it's something that they may not think of. Kristen Polson and Tia Anderson are part of the Denver Love 146 Task Force, an international nonprofit organization trying to fight human trafficking. I hope that it raises awareness about the issue. I hope that it encourages hotel motel staff to report things when they see it. On this Saturday, they're walking the streets of Colfax near Lowry, handing out this poster. We've had a lot of positive response from this. A packet of information telling motel staff what to look for. That packet of information just will let you know some signs to look for. Like if the person avoids eye contact, appears malnourished, or has few or no personal possessions. And the national hotline where they can report anything suspicious. It's good to hang up in like a break room or something, so okay. definitely anybody can be aware of it. I definitely don't want that going on. In this case, the motel owner who asked us not to show her face was glad they stopped by. It's possible that I could have a guest who has that going on, and so... Um, I think it's great that I'm aware of it now, and then I'll make my employees aware of it, too. For Polson and Anderson, the work can be challenging, and not all owners are this friendly. But if they can help save one child's sex victim... If one hotel out of hundreds that we go visit happens to hold on to this and one life is changed, then it's completely worth it. Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. Denver has become a hub for child trafficking because of our interstate system. I-25 north to the south and I-70 east to the west provides direct access from the Midwest to Vegas.